vastly sophisticated and maybe more practical than you think. We are talking about Google Glass. It's a wearable computer that gives you the freedom to talk, text, and surf the web hands-free. Many people are already finding Glass to be a great business tool. Others, however, say it's just another invasion of privacy. CBS 47's Tony Body traveled to San Francisco to check out a pair. We're here at Google Glass Base Camp in San Francisco. Let's take a look inside at what's being done here and how this innovative device works. You can think of this office along the Embarcadero as a lens crafters and a computer class all in one. Swipe down with one finger. Users control glass like a mouse by swiping and scrolling. And then you can also tap to select something that you're on. Motions on the touchpad activate the prism, which serves as your personal projector. So move your head around and you get a natural viewing orientation of the web page. Google Glass was introduced exactly one year ago and continues to be in the testing phase. There are now approximately 10,000 Glass users in the United States. Google selected these so-called explorers to give feedback on the product. Understand, they are also folks who had to pay $1,500 to own the device. Many people choose to wear open frames. However, you can snap lenses in if you prefer. Today, I am getting a free trial. Glass guy Jacob Barlow sized me up. This is actually a, a good fit, which doesn't always happen. So. Glass ties into your smartphone through Bluetooth technology to handle the functions many of us perform every day, like talk, text, email, and map. Take a picture, and just like that, an image of the Bay Bridge is saved. Glass runs apps, too, such as workout routines. Uh, it'll show a video of this is how you do a crunch and then you do it It uses the sensors in here to tell you oh you, you did it wrong try again. Ian Shaquille is the CEO of Augmetics, a healthcare startup built on glass. The company's goal is to give doctors a more personalized experience with their patients. They spend more than a third of their day on the computer pushing and pulling information and not caring for patients. The difference with physicians wearing glass is they can capture and store their interactions without ever touching a computer. It's the employees at Augmetics who take care of the charting. We make use of the audiovisual stream, and from that information, we're able to pull out what we call structured data, which is the information that needs to go into the electronic health record. Okay, class. James Chaw of Fresno has been an explorer for seven months, and he's found the device to be quite the conversation starter. Everything I can do on like my smartphone, like yeah, I could search for, on yeah, search that's on Google cool. for stuff, things like that. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'll try to get one when it comes out there. <laughs> <laughs> James has discovered many practical uses. Find a recipe for strawberry dessert. He likes the convenience of operating hands-free at the grocery store. Instead of like checking things out with my phone for a recipe or for any ingredients, here when I'm shopping, I can just look up and see what I need. And if James is not sure what to buy. He just asks his glass. Google tea that helps with colds. Has it reached a point yet where you said to yourself, man, how did I, how did I live without this thing? Not yet. I, I think there's a long ways to go, but there's so much potential with it. Whole Foods Market welcomes the technology inside its stores. I think if it enhances the customer shopping experience, we think that's great. Not every business is supportive, though. In San Francisco, there are about a dozen restaurants and bars which ban glass. The Willows put the rule in place after customers expressed concerns of being secretly recorded. Okay, glass, record a video. But as our glass guide Jacob shows us, the act of recording is difficult to hide because the outside display lights up and is easy for others to see. So if we were having a conversation like this, I would not be able to secretly record you. Legal analyst Carl Fowler says policing any potential misuses of glass is challenging. Okay, so the law always seems to be playing catch up with technology and this is just another area. We all have an expectation of privacy in places like restrooms, but that's not the case out on the street where surveillance cameras are just about everywhere. Fowler says anyone making accusations that Google Glass is being used as a spy tool is sure to create a foggy situation. Whether or not you have to give notice, the fact that you are uh, taping the person is going to be uh, a real question that's, that's going to end up being settled by the courts or by the legislature. Google is still perfecting its consumer-grade model, and those 
are expected to hit retail shelves by the end of the year. In San Francisco, Tony Body, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Wow, what do you think? Um, I, I don't think I would buy one. I was just going to ask.